Hello and welcome. In this session, we'll explore how machine learning operators available in Erdas Imagine 2018 can be used to classify feature data. Let's take a look at the training data and the data we are going to classify. The data to be classified is loaded on the left viewer and has close to 2000 polygons and we want to assign land cover classes to each polygon. The shape file was generated by doing FLA segmentation of the raster that's displayed in the right viewer. The training data is displayed on the right viewer overlaid on top of the raster. The shape files also have several attributes as you can see in the table below. The class and name attributes have known values in the training data uh, and are unknown for the data to be classified. In addition to this, the shape files have also eight additional attributes. These are per band mean and standard deviation of, of the pixels of the raster contained within each polygon. We'll train one of the machine learning algorithms with the training data and then use the trained algorithm to classify the shape file that's displayed in the left viewer. I have already created a special model that does the training. Let's load the model and discuss about it. Okay, to do that, I will start a new special model editor. Uh, I don't need the viewers for now. So let's load the For this demo, we'll train the random forest algorithm. The random forest algorithm is one of the supervised machine learning algorithms we have introduced in Erdas Imagine 2018. To train the random forest algorithm, we need to give the initialized random forest operator a training data and specify the attributes of the data to use for training. We'll supply the training data using the features input operator and to specify the attributes to be used for the training, we'll use the select attributes operator to look through the available attributes in the training data and select the ones we want to use for the training. So let's double click on the attributes name port of the select attribute operator and see what attributes our training data has. Okay, the dialog shows you the list of the available attributes. And for the training, we want to use the per band mean and the standard deviation attributes of the data. So I'll go ahead and select those attributes and move them to the right. I'll also select the name attribute since that is the attribute that tells the algorithm the classes of the training polygons. Right. Now let's look at the initialized random forest operator. This is the operator that does the actual training. We pass the feature stream with the selected attributes to this operator and also specify the attribute which is used for identifying the class name in the class attribute name port. Uh, the other attributes will be used for training. So let's specify the attribute that specifies the class types and in our case it is the name attribute. I'll do that. The final operator is the machine intellect output operator, which saves the trained algorithm, also known as the machine intellect, to disk. Uh, so we can run the model now. 
let's just do that okay the module has run and generated the machine intellect we are now ready to do classification as usual i have a special model that does the classification uh, let's load this model and discuss about it okay so i will save clear this and open the classifier model in this model classify using machine learning operator which is at the center of the model does the actual classification it takes the data to be classified, which in this case is a shape file, via the features input operator. It also takes the machine intellect, the trained machine intellect, uh, created during the training phase. This is supplied to it using the machine intellect input operator. And once the classification is done, a feature stream that has the classification results is passed to the features output operator which saves the feature stream to disk in this case as a shape file so let's run the model the process has completed and it's time to look at the result okay I will hide the special model editor I don't need it for now bring back the viewers and also I don't need the unclassified shape file I will load the classified shape file now okay let's fit both the data to the viewer let's get the auto fit to viewer here fit to frame here I will also change the style of display for the classified data we'll display it by name and see the classes are now assigned to the polygons let's bring the attribute table now that's the attribute table for the classified uh, shape file the input to the classifier has the class name and eight statistics uh, attributes the name attributes for the polygons were all set to unknown since the polygons were unclassified. Now you see the name attribute is updated with the result of the classification. The raster data that these shape files were generated from is displayed on the right viewer and you can quickly do a visual comparison of the classified shape file and the raster to do a quick visual accuracy assessment and once you are satisfied with it you can continue to do a quantitative accuracy assessment this concludes this session thanks for listening